What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and we are here in Virginia for the weekend for Overland Expo East 2021. So I think it's in Arrington, Virginia, but basically we are here checking out the different Overland setups, different campers, different toppers, all sorts of stuff, sleeping inside the Jeep like we do. So stay tuned. All right guys, so we are going to be reviewing or showing you guys a bunch of different campers today. So what are we talking about campers? So campers, we're calling anything that you bumper pull. So bumper pull or gooseneck pull, but you're pulling it. So it has to have be able to come unattached from the original rig. So let's walk around, let's see what they have to offer at Overland Expo 2021. A special thank you to our sponsors that made this video series possible. Quadratech, Rock Jock, Rhino Rack, Armor Light, and in part by Deep Sleep for Jeeps. Introduce yourself. All right. Hi, I'm Matt with Boreas Campers. We build off-road trailers in Denver, Colorado. We are out here at Overland Expo East in Arrington, Virginia. Uh, we're partnered here with our dealer Outbound Off-Road in Raleigh. Uh, but we're gonna do a quick rundown on our two models. So we have our Boreas XT. This is our teardrop style trailer. It's been our bread and butter for uh, years and years. Uh, this camper is really built to go on the tight trails, the off-road adventures. And it's very utilitarian. It has a lot of opportunities to carry gear and bikes and things like that. Uh, so on this trailer here, we're running Cruise Master suspension, uh, coil and shocks. We're running the Cruise Master DO35 hitch up front. And then uh, up here, we have our full size toolbox and a two inch receiver up front. So you can do bike racks, luggage racks, dirt bikes up here. Uh, so lots of different ways to carry that those toys. Up here, you can also do bike racks in lieu of this luggage rack. So you can carry all sorts of different different options on this camper. Uh, as we come back here, you got a 100 watt solar panel up top, that comes standard. The Max Air fan. Um, and the, this entire camper is all built with either a composite or a metal. Um, so we do a fiberglass body. Uh, we chose fiberglass for a couple reasons. It's gonna have the best thermal dynamics that you can have so it's going to be the best insulation value uh, aluminum walls and and things like that they love to transfer temperature uh, fiberglass does not that's why we want fiberglass it's also repairable if you scratch it puncture it ding it um, you're good to go you can get a fix or aluminum can uh, big awning here on the side full-size spare tire queen size bed inside it is heated and then you have an option for a portable AC. We come around the back here, you have a sink, a stove, and a 60 liter Truma refrigerator here. It comes with that. It comes with, yeah. And again, you have another two inch receiver in the back here if you didn't want to do more bikes or luggage. Uh, if you come around to the side here, we just rented. We have our on-demand hot water shower. Wow, that's... Everyone needs that. Yeah, and then this camper has 30 gallons of fresh water on board. Uh, up above this is a little drop down shower room enclosure, a little privacy drop down. Um, yeah, queen size bed, six foot seven, head to toe inside. Uh, and how much is this one? This one right here is 34,890. Okay, yeah, perfect. Can I get in? Absolutely. So we do have plenty of options for different types of awnings or battery options, solar options, things like that. But the camper comes turnkey, just what you saw at 3489. It's super comfortable. You wouldn't expect that it has this much room inside. Well, like I can't, I mean, I'm small, but I can't touch the top. If I was in the middle, I would be. Yeah, it is, it is a little deceiving. I've, I've, I've had to, kind of force the tall guys in here because they don't believe me. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I plenty mean, of room. So what's the, from here to down there, what are you, how long? Head to toe is six foot seven. Um, wow. It's a, it's a full queen bed in there. So, um, so yeah, it's it's roomier than it thinks, it, you, than you think. It's definitely deceiving with your feet under the cabinet, but uh, I'm six foot and I've never had to worry about had touching. Had issues? Yeah. <laughs> 
And what's the weight on this one? This is 2,200 pounds drive. And okay. so what, what kind of vehicle would you need to pull something like this that so, you guys would recommend? Yeah, yeah. We recommend kind of that mid-size SUV truck world. Um, you never want to max out your tow capacity, right? So this, uh, this would fall into that 3,500 is tow, tow capacity is kind of the minimum, but I would really recommend seeing something in that 5,000 pound range. You're just going to have a better towing experience. The vehicle will do it, but You'll so basically a Jeep Wrangler can totally tow it, right? Yeah, the, the Jeep Wrangler, Wrangler, the four doors, they do have towing capacities up to 4,000. Um, you know, the Ford Rangers, the Tacomas, the Forerunners, um, those are all really popular, popular for us. So. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. If you have a Jeep, you know about the famous Jeep Drip. Factory carpet gets wet, smelly, discolored, and it's a pain in the neck to clean. Armorlite has created the perfect solution to a very common issue. I bring you their complete carpet replacement system. It utilizes your factory drain plugs for fast and easy cleanup. Enjoy less outside noise and no heat. Rip that carpet out and kiss it goodbye. Trust me, you'll thank me later. So here is our prototype. This is a hybrid model. We're calling it the EOS 12. So EOS is in Greek mythology, the mother of Boreas. And Boreas is the Greek god of winter. Uh, so, side fact there. Uh, but this is uh, our second prototype. We're going into production with the EOS 12 in January of 2022. Uh, so, very similar chassis design as to what you just saw on our Boreas XT, uh, running the Cruise Master suspension, the Cruise Master hitch, uh, a whole bunch of storage up front here, propane, your spare tire. And what you can see is that this is a pop up. Um, so it has a low profile for towing and trails, but you can stand in it when you get to camp. Uh, we'll obviously jump inside here in a minute. Uh, as you come around onto the passenger side or kitchen area, so huge 96 liter fridge and freezer. Um, this all sits on a roller so you can, you can tuck that away when not in use. And pull it out while you're cooking. Another nice thing too is that this is accessible from the inside when you're sitting at the table. Sweet. Wow. Uh, little fold down table here um, with some speakers. Uh, we have a two zone speaker system here. Lights up above, 270 on it. Um, so this wraps all the way from the entry door all the way through the front of the camper and you can get the room enclosure walls that zip on to shut. Uh, so you can really turn this into a base camp. Uh, here we've got our big stainless steel kitchen system. So three burner stove here, uh, 7,500 BTUs per burner. So this thing can crank. Whole bunch of storage for pots and pans down below. You got our silverware and uh, cookware accoutrements here. And then uh, your sink here, this has uh, cold and hot water and the, this trailer does have 50 gallons of fresh water. Fancy. Um, and it's also four seasons so the tanks are heated and ducted so you can have running water in the winter. Wow. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Another cool little feature here is that it's pass through galley. So we always we like having this single location for your kitchen layout so everything can be here your pots and pans your food and you're, you're cooking right in this right in this whole area. Uh, so we can come around to the back. Uh, <clears throat> so watch your head walk walking in. It is not a standard door. Wow. So on your left behind here is your shower. So toilet and shower. There's 40 gallons of gray water as well. Um, with on-demand hot water. Um, right up above here, this trailer has an optional 12 volt air conditioner. So this runs off battery and solar. Nice. Um, luckily we haven't needed it yet this weekend, but um, some of those hot days out in, out in Colorado, it's definitely come in handy. Uh, up front here is a, another full queen. So permanent bed, and what we like about that is in this market of small campers, like, uh, like the Airstream Base Camp and some things like that, they don't have permanent beds. So you're converting a dinette and you're sleeping on just a bench cushion. 
So this is actually a permanent bed, which is super comfortable. Uh, you got your overhead uh, uh, vent and light here. You have windows on both sides with the screen or the privacy shade. <clears throat> you can also lift this up. So a whole bunch of storage in there. That's kind of the brains and the electrical in the front the left scary hand. Guts. <laughs> yeah. And then what's nice is when this fridge is rolled back up for the night, you can Access reach the fridge it. without getting getting out of the camper. Um, then where we're sitting, there's storage under both of these benches. And this table will drop down and this bench will fold out Perfect. and it's another double bed. Wow. Um, you can get a fifth person in here as long as that fifth person weighs under 100 pounds with a with a side wall uh, bunk bed. Uh, but then everything uh, everything in the camper runs off the Garmin control system. So this is kind of our our tech here. So we can run, you know, we can turn in on all of our lights in here. We can dim any of the zones, we can turn that bathroom light on and off. And then this runs the AC or the fan. This runs our heater from Truma. Um, shows our fresh water, we're at 100%. The tank heaters are off. Um, this is our hot water system, so we can turn that on and off. And uh, Whoa, this, is nice. your, this is your auto level. Yeah. Yep, so you can... Wow, air suspension? Yep, airbag oh. suspension. So it has a bunch of presets, so auto level, road presets. So if it's like I'm doing a bunch of highway, you hit a button, and it sets that level and the airbag pressure. That's amazing. If you're ready to do a bunch of washboard road, you hit that button, and it lets some air out, so it's softer ride. Um, it's got low rider, the low rider setting, so it'll dump all the air out of the bag so you can get it into a garage. Um, or water crossing, so it'll put uh, lift it up as high as it can go. So, um, yeah, super fun thing. This works on your phone as well. Um, you can take it in the vehicle for navigation, running your camera, keeping an eye. And it on comes it. with this. It does. Nice. Yep. And so, what does uh, this camper retail for? Do you guys have an MSRP for it yet? Yep. So the 2022s will be at sixty-five thousand. Um, everything that you saw here comes with it, except for that 12 volt AC on the roof. Okay. That is an upgrade. Okay. Um, that would put you over the 70,000 mark for that 12 volt AC. But otherwise, everything you saw comes standard with it. We do it the same as our Boreas XT. The teardrop is it's turnkey, ready to camp the day you pick it up. Nice. All right. And then what does this weigh? So this one comes in at about 3,700 pounds. So, wow. Yeah. That's a... It's, yeah, it's about... It's about, what is that, 1,500 pounds heavier than the teardrop. Um, but if you look at our competitors in this off-road world, we're about 12 to 1,500 pounds lighter than that. Yep. Everything is aluminum, right? But a Jeep right? isn't going to be pulling this. Yeah, you can totally pull it with a Jeep. With the Jeep? 5,000 pounds. With the 5,000 pound yeah. capacity, you would be in there. Um, with the this Jeep's trailer, just because like it. <laughs> it's bigger, I really recommend more of that full-size SUV, full-size mm -hmm. truck. Um, just again, so you're not maxing things out because it has 50 gallons of water. Yeah. So that's a lot of weight right out of the, right out of the gate. So is the weight including the weight of the water? No. So those are always going to be dry weights. Wow. Yep. So that's going to be before your gear, your equipment, water, things like that. Um, so this can carry a total of 5,200 pounds. Um, so you could potentially max out the Jeep, right? So you need to be careful with that. But, um, and these roll out January? Yep, we, we're starting production in January. Um, we've got a couple couple more available slots for the 2022 production run, but um, we've had a lot of good traction on it. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's been, been really exciting. So Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you so much for you. Uh, showing us around, and these are, these are really cool campers. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for stopping by. How's it going today? My name is Brian Graver from Rhino Rack out here at Overland Expo East today. Um, absolutely loving it. Luckily, the rain has been holding off and um, we've just been taking it every day at a time. It's been a great turnout and uh, wish you guys were here. Thanks for the intro, Brian. As you know, not all roof racks are created equal, which is why we decided to run the Rhino Rack backbone system in our JL. It allows for weight to be distributed into the internal steel frame of the Jeep 
resulting in a pretty impressive load rating. How you doing everybody? My name is Jim Buck. I'm with Black Series Campers. We're out here at Overland Expo East here in Arlington, Virginia. And what I'd like to show you really quick is our HQ-19, our flagship model. So right here in the front, we have a couple of really nice storage facilities or storage areas. We have one with two propane tanks. So that way you're going to be working for your stove. Um, some units will have a propane furnace and a propane water heater. Um, this particular model actually has a diesel furnace. So if you actually look over here, we actually have our fuel tank for our diesel, and that's gonna be heating up our unit with our diesel furnace. So we come along, we also have uh, some of our new features. We have an electric jack on the front to accommodate, uh, go along with our, our jockey wheel here to roll on. One of our key, key, key features that sets us apart from everyone and makes us a true boondocking off-roading unit is gonna be our polyblock unit. And so our polyblock here, the whole knuckle, this will actually rotate 360 degrees. Um, we get 70 degrees worth of lift out of the block. And then the Y hitch that connects to it is going to give you lots of swivel and space in here. You can actually jackknife the vehicle to get it parked while you're backing up. But this is a true boondocking unit, like I said. Um, one of the other key features, again, that sets us apart as well, is also gonna be our frame. Our frame is tubular steel. It goes from the very front of the unit to the very rear of the unit. Um, it's a hot dipped galvanized steel frame. Uh, very tough, very durable to get you into the off-road environment. Um, our body panels, um, our lower panels are aluminum diamond plate. Our upper panels are aluminum composite. And then our body, which it's all attached to, the body of our house, is actually welded aluminum. It's not pressed, it's not riveted, it's welded aluminum. So it's a nice solid frame, a nice solid house. So when you're pushing on it, there's little to no give, unlike something that might be uh, made of fiberglass or other sheet metal stuff. So nice, solid body. As we come out, we're coming along, our front, this area here is gonna be a pass-through storage. It's gonna go to the other side. And of course we have our outside kitchen. This will slide all the way in. We have what's called a gravity sink, so the water will drain down. You just catch it with a bucket. We have a prep table. This will open up. And then we have a two burner stove. Let me get the paperwork out of here. We got a two burner stove. So we have our outdoor kitchen. So again, the idea is to get you outside. We don't want people to be locked up inside, stuck in the kitchen, cooking mid -deal meals and stuff. And then meanwhile, they're missing out on the outdoor activity. They're not part of the conversation. They're not part of the laughter. They're not part of anything. They're stuck inside. So we do still have a kitchen inside, but this gives the person who's cooking the opportunity to be outside, which is super nice. We're gonna come back here a little bit and show off a couple other things and we're gonna look inside real quick. And so one of the things you see is we have these nice heavy duty light truck tires. Yeah, take a look at those tires. Those are, those are some rugged tires. And so these are 265, 75, 16 tires. It is a light truck tire. It's not your standard trailer tire. This is heavy duty off-road stuff. And then we also have rock guards. We have rock guards that run along the edges on both sides of the vehicle. So that way when you're into that deep rut and you're coming up and it runs low, you're going to hit this rather than taking out the edge of your unit. So that's going to save you a lot of money in body damage repair if something like that happens. That bar is going to stop it. Now another thing that's a key, key, key feature, again that sets us aside from a lot of the units, is going to be underneath. Now if you can get a quick view, you want to take a look at our suspension underneath. We have individual swing arms, one for each tire, so we have four of them, and then each swing arm has two shocks. So you're looking at eight shocks all the way around. That shock is also supplied, or it's also supported with a heavy duty coil spring, as well as a limiting chain so you're not extending beyond what you should be at and having your system fall apart. Um, and there's other items you can look at. We also have an outdoor shower and stuff like that on the other side. Now inside, we're gonna go inside real quick here with this model. So one of the things we have with our new system, um, we're putting in uh, with our 21 to 2022 models is a Bluetooth radio system. So we're not putting in a normal radio anymore. We're having a Bluetooth system. So that way you provide your radio um, or an iPod or whatever you have to play music is gonna attach um, through Bluetooth and then you have control through your speakers. So we have a subwoofer now, um, we have tweeters, we have inside speakers, outside speakers, that way you can enjoy music while you're inside or outside or control it however you want to. Um, we have a queen size bed. 
Um, we have a nice, soft, very large, comfortable cushions um, in this model. Now in this model, we actually sleep three. We have two in the queen size bed and we can sleep a person here, about a six foot tall person here in the dinette. So again, you can see it's a nice big roomy bed with a headboard to it. And then here at the table, so you push this here and this will compress down and this will make your bed compartment in this area right here. Now our batteries, we're uh, using four AGM batteries that have 100 amp hours a piece to them. So you're looking at 400 amp hours worth of power. Those are mounted here underneath this bench seat. And then we're utilizing a 2000 watt inverter. And the inverter is underneath this bench here. Now the batteries are being recharged by uh, four solar panels up on the roof and they're providing 600 watts of power to charge, recharge those batteries. And then the inverter, the inverter is going to be able to utilize your TV or your microwave. So that way you don't have to run a generator, be plugged in because the inverter is gonna be able to provide power for that. Now, when we're looking in this area, we have our kitchen, this big, beautiful kitchen. I love the kitchen in this unit. Um, we have a nice sink. And on the sink, there's two spigots. You have your top spigot, that comes, the water comes out of the front, and then we have our lower one here where the water will come out here. And the reason why is because we have two water tanks, two water tanks, two pumps. So the front one is gonna come out of our general water tank. That's gonna be a 63 gallon general water tank. That's gonna be your faucet, that's gonna be your toilet, it's gonna be your shower. Then the second one, your drinking water tank, that's going to be a 16 gallon water tank. Um, it's gonna go through a triple filtration system. And so you can see the triple filter down here. Now one of the new features, as you're sitting there looking underneath that, you see the red and blue tubes, is we're starting to put insulation on our tube. So that way we have um, some help when it comes down to cold weather environments. So we're protecting our tubing, um, so that way we're keeping it from freezing. Um, we have our stove, we got a three burner stove, a nice three burner stove over here with a glass top that would cover it up. And beneath that, we have our oven. So we got a nice oven in here. We got a lot of, not a lot of nice room in here. You can definitely cook some cookies in there. That's what I'd be cooking. <laughs> So as we come through and we also, now we have new cabinetry. We have this nice new cabinetry, um, very nice and luxurious. It actually cleans up really well, really easy. Um, you open it up, you have your cabinets right there. You can see um, there's quite a bit of room. We have three cabinets here um, and then you have the cabinet on the end down there. Um, so you have a lot of things available to you um, for storage inside the unit, as well as you know the cabinets over here on the sides as well. We have sides over here um, for storing stuff in the cabinets. Um, as we come along, we have, uh, I'll already point out, our microwave. Um, we have a large refrigerator um, with freezer, fridge and freezer in here, Dometic. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of squeeze this way, and so that way you can take a look at the bathroom. So in the corner there, we have um, the toilet. Um, and then underneath this little compartment here, we have a seven gallon capacity washing machine. Um, so you're gonna be out there for a while washing some clothes and stuff. Um, next to that is an actual, we'll go this way, is an actual porcelain sink. It's not plastic like you can find out in a lot of the, the rapidly made units. Um, this is actual appliances and whatnot. And nice brass, I believe it's brass, um, water, uh, uh, water spigot. Um, and then we have a nice large shower with a roll door. Um, so that way all the water hits the door and watch you stay within the shower so you shouldn't be having any dripping issues on the floor. Uh, but nice large shower with you know a fan up there as we see that up in there. Um, as we come back this way, um, as we're trying to cover stuff, um, windows. We, do, we utilize a Eurovision window, um, and so it's a dual pane window that has a uh, tint to it, so it helps to block sun. Um, it also helps with soundproofing, um, cuts down a lot on extra noise, as well as during uh, cold weathers or heated weathers, it helps maintain the warm weathers in here when it's cold outside or kind of vice versa when you're running air conditioning, which above my head here, we have an air conditioner. Um, it's a Dometic air conditioner. Um, furnaces, I talked about the furnace. Um, let me just get that back out of the way here. So we have a furnace di discharge over here. And then we also have uh, the remote or the control for the furnace. Again, it was the diesel furnace. And then the white controller there, that's going to be for um, the on-demand uh, hot water tank or hot water, uh, yeah, hot water, on-demand hot water. Um, so we've got rid of the, the tank and we put in the on-demand in, in this unit here. Um, another feature is our blinds. Um, so I kind of already have it halfway set here. 
And so there's two sets of blinds. So there's a blackout shade here. I'm going to step right here. So we have your screen. Um, and the nice part about this is we have these nice large windows, which really help with airflow through. So if you're in an environment where you don't have any bugs, you know, flies and stuff coming in, which we don't have today, you get great airflow coming through here. But if you are bugged by the bugs, then you got the screen to close, and then you also have this one for at nighttime. Um, we've put in new lighting to this unit. We got a great new LED lighting system going around the edge. And one of the cool features we put in is if you can see here in this area, um, we have colored LED lights. So right now it's all in like a demo mode, so it kind of looks like a, a disco <laughs> show uh, going through here, um, which is kind of cool. So, but you can't lock it on a single color, so you're not getting dizzy or whatever from it. your lighting. So, yeah, they got some great stuff. Um, I, again, like mentioning the, the big windows, we got a nice window. We can also use that as an emergency exit, um, and even our overhead, our overhead cover actually opens up very large so if you have to use that area as an escape as well um and so this also has the screens and the bug screen and the blackout screen nice. and then you also have the lighting that covers that too here i'll close this back up because it's probably missing with your lighting um what else i think i just about covered it all in the quick little bit of time i have um, I think you did great. So let's so, talk about dry yes. weight. Dry weight. So dry weight, uh, you're coming in dry at about 6,100, a little over 6,100 pounds. Um, max ca capacity is going to be 10,000 pounds. Um, MSRP, again, as manufacturer, MSRP is going to come in about 95,000. Um, but make sure you check with your local dealerships for um, whatever kind of deals they can they can work with you out there. Awesome. And what would you yeah. recommend pulls this kind of... Um, if you're, it, it depends. I mean, you really need to go to your manufacturer, check in on your manufacturer's information, see what your vehicle can cover. Make sure you're, you cover at least ten thousand pounds, or at least into that range. Um, but yeah, I've I've towed, I have towed um, with a uh, Chevy Silverado fifteen hundred, but I had a larger towing engine. I had a six point two liter engine, so you're gonna have to use a larger engine. You can't get away with like a six cylinder or something like that. It, again, it all falls down on you to verify your towing capacity to make sure you have um, the capabilities not only to pull, but even more importantly, the capability to stop. Don't forget the stopping mm -hmm. power. That's the that's the big thing. The stopping power. People don't power. think about that. People don't think about stopping. They think about well, what can I pull, and they're not always thinking about the the stoppage power. So you got to think about stopping. It's very important. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. You're this right, has welcome. been an amazing walkthrough. It's beautiful. I'm about to hand you my credit card, and we'll call it a day. Awesome. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Rock Jock 4x4 by John Curry is an innovative performance company which has brought us the famous Annie Rock Sway Bar Kit. Annie Rock takes the place of your stock sway bar. It helps free up suspension articulation to increase off-road traction, so you're always ready for your next off-road adventure. Hi, so I'm Benson and I work for Rock Campers. This is a teardrop model that has been in research and development phase for a year and a half, so a lot of thought went into this product. It's constructed out of a fiberglass composite material. There are no seams. The idea here is to keep water out. A long-term legend-based product that you can pass on to your kids. Um, we've eliminated a lot of opportunities for water to get into it. We don't have a fan on top. We built a fan system in the inside that discharges air out here. So when that fan kicks on, when your screens are open, you'll feel the rush of air coming through. And we have well, good ventilation in that we have two doors. Being made out of fiberglass and composite, we're not limited to a four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood. So it allowed us to build a teardrop that was more voluminous inside. It's a lot brighter. Doesn't It's not as claustrophobic as many others. You'll notice that we have some components from the marine industry like a marine headliner, which is mildew resistant. The acrylic skylight is bedded with 3M5200, so it is leak proof. We have a larger tow box area deeper cabinets, larger cabinets, more storage. The bed, if you know a queen size is 60 by 80, this is 57 by 80, so it's close to a queen. Almost. Yeah, almost. Um, what size tires? There's 31 inch tires on 17 inch rims with a uh, six by five and a half bolt pattern. They're mounted on the Timbrin 3500 rated independent axles. 
Obviously, you would never put 3,500 pounds on this thing, but it's rugged, it's durable, built to last. That was our intention of that. The rock slide protection goes around the entire perimeter of the trailer, which serves two purposes. It not only protects the unit, but you can step on it any, anywhere to access the roof rack. The fenders are reinforced as well. It's all part of the structure. Of the and that's made out of the same material? Correct. Okay. Yep. It's all steel. The inch and a half tubing as the main frame of the trailer goes all the way to the tongue. So a lot of teardrops will have a frame and then they'll have a tongue attachment. This is all integrated as one unit. Makes it more stable. More stable, more durable. Um, protects the, the jacks are bolted to the frame. Obviously when they retract, the rock slide protects them as well. You can level the unit out. There's your leveling gauges up here, fore and aft and side to side. We have a 47 quart freezer slash refrigerator. You can use it as either option, freezer or refrigerator. And this comes with the unit or That's, you have to get your own? No, this is a, an option. We package this in. If you don't want it, if you have one, we have a cooler that we would put in its place. Two burner propane cooktop. This model doesn't have a pigtail, but that would connect to the uh, propane. One of the options we have is a, uh, again, thought about the location of this. We have a 20 gallon storage tank for water, fresh water. It's not bolted underneath like many RVs do it, where it's vulnerable to the rocks and the logs and so forth. It's behind the bulkhead, sitting directly over the axle, so the weight distribution is negligible. That's pretty smart. And the ports for those are right here. We have an instant hot water demand feature. And then the rooftop tent, is that an option or is that... Yeah, the rooftop tent's an option, the awning is an option. Both have 270 degree enclosures that, that come with those two features. Our power package includes a 100 watt solar panel. Nice. And out front in the tongue box, <laughs> it's okay. Just showing the uh, is a thousand watt inverter charger, so you have AC and DC power, and a hundred amp hour deep cycle battery. And this tongue box is uh, made of the same materials as it's all fiberglass composite. Did we mention the dry weight? Without the tent and without the, the appendages, it's 1,400 pounds. Uh, so a Subaru Outback can pull this thing. Wow, very light because of the fiberglass. Very light. The, this material, which we have a sample of right here, if you want to take a look, is lighter, stronger, rot resistant than, than plywood, which many use. But in addition to this, we put a half inch of styrofoam insulation and then a, a wood veneer inside so you have an inch and a half of material all the way around with an R8 value. You can heat the inside of this with a 300 watt ceramic heater no problem. Yeah so the Rhino liner with the UV chemical infused head these are all the standard colors we're partial to our orange door that's our, our part of our branding but uh, you can choose the outside in any one of these. These are standard. We will also do a custom color if you so choose for additional fee. A lot of people are trying to match their vehicles. Yeah. So we will do that as well. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your walk around. I want to talk to you about our favorite light bar, which you guys have seen in several videos. It's Quadratech Stealth Light Bar that lives inside your Jeep. It goes up against a windshield versus on the outside like other light bars. So no wind noise people or brackets are needed. It can toggle between white and amber color lights too.